Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are finishing out our final part of what I think has become a four part series. I don't remember because it's been a while since we filmed the other parts of the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Patricia Bright Rich in Color Palette. I have done multiple looks with this palette. If you haven't heard me talk about it before, it is a $25 palette. Uh, Makeup Revolution is a, is a brand that I've started to recently use like within the past year, but I've developed a very strong love for them because I really like their formula, their quality and their price point is very, very reasonable. They have a lot of really great options. So I picked this one up pretty recently and at first I did a red look with it, just a really quick one. It honestly wasn't my favorite look, but it didn't look horrible. And so I was like, the colors blended really well and I did it so quickly that I was like, I wanna explore more with this palette. I did a blue and a green look that I really loved. I did a purple and a pink look that was pretty cool. And so today, because of everything that is involved in this palette, we are going to do a neutral look because everything I've been doing with it has been mainly vibrant colors, bright, bold eye looks. We're gonna go in with some of the nice neutral browns and uh, light blending shades and see what we can do with that. So today I'm gonna probably accent All Spice, Mattel, uh, Queen, Elegant, and probably Wow, and probably Shimmering just because I've used that for every single eye look so far, and I really love it as like a highlight for your brow bone and for your inner corner. Uh, yeah, that being said, if you haven't seen the other videos, go check those out. They turned out pretty cool, I think, for most of them. It definitely gives you an idea of the colors that are available and how they kind of work and blend together. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, maybe consider doing that. We are uh, having a lot of fun filming right now. I'm doing... Uh, we did a haul, I've got a lot of new products to test out, and uh, of course we're always doing our seasonal, or seasonal, our monthly unboxings and stuff like that. So uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and joining our Dark Angel family because uh, we're fun here. Anyway, without any further ado, let us jump into the makeup aspect of this whole little uh, showdown. So the first thing I'm gonna grab is, um, I just got like a tapered little blending brush. I'm going to do my outer corner with Allspice, which is this dark kind of orangey, orange is the wrong word, like a, clay red, like a deep clay red. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I believe I used it as just like an accent color for the red look, but I don't remember fully. It's a very pretty color though. Very much a brown tone, but you do have that muted orange kind of in there, which I really, really like. So fun story, I'm pretty sure I broke my toe today. I didn't break it. I uh, I probably sprained it. I don't know. Can you sprain a toe? I don't know. Uh, the bone's not crunching, so I would I would assume it's probably not broken. But uh, it does not feel great. It looks uh, like t twice the size that it normally looks. There's no real reason that I did it other than I just like kind of stumbled while I was in my bathroom. I was about to take a bath, and I just like was walking to grab my phone charger. I don't even know. I like, did like this little like trip jump thing, and then I landed directly like on top of it. And uh, now it really hurts. It does not feel great. So I've been like gimping around all day. So we just got like kind of a nice dark base on the outside of it, which we're gonna blend out. All right, we're going in now. We're gonna go in with the blending brush. We're gonna do Mod Hell, which is like the medium brown shade. It's darker brown, but not too, too bad. And I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit over this area, give it a little bit more of a widespread in the day, like the darker shades, and then we'll blend it out with some lighter shades. I like it, it's blending out really well, like pretty much everything else in this palette has done so far. I've been very impressed with it. I really was not expecting to love it as much as I have. I wasn't expecting to not like it by any means. I just was like very blown away by how much I was like, I really wanna use this on camera. So I'm pretty excited with how everything has turned out so far. We're not done yet, but the ride's been fun. So as we're filming this, I know it will not be posted today because we have like four videos in the series that have to get posted before this one can get posted. So it will definitely not be posted today. But that being said, today as we are filming, it is Cinco de Mayo. Um, so of course I know most of us are still in either quarantine or self-isolation or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So how are you guys, how did you guys celebrate? Did you get to-go food? Did you make at-home margaritas? Did you just like treat it like any other day? Did you do anything special? Were you sad that you couldn't go out or did you go out anyway? I'm really interested to know like how everybody's kind of dealing with the different, uh, I know everybody has different regulations and stuff just based on the government and based on their own comfortability and everything like that, but just kind of interested to see how you guys are handling it. Personally, we have really not done anything. I'm still working, 
but like I said, I've worked in the middle of the night. So I go to work and I do my job and I get out uh, as quick as I can because basically as soon as I'm done with my job, I can leave. So I try and be really efficient and uh, get home in a timely manner. And then I come home and shower and sleep for a little bit. And then I just kind of live the rest of my day and I go to bed at like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night because I got to be at work at midnight. So that's what I do. Uh, Nikki is working at home right now. He just had literally had just gotten a new job when this happened. So uh, he was like still in the training phase of it. And now he's like basically at home trying to just do his best. So that's been interesting. He was unemployed for a month. They kind of shut down everything for a month and he was just like chilling. It was great, except the whole no paycheck thing was not great. So we've just been kind of trying to stay as indoors as possible. Really haven't like even gone to get to go food or anything that frequently, which for us, that's probably the saddest thing that we've missed. I think we might've said it on another video, but like, I love to eat out and I miss, we had like our certain places that we would eat out regularly and we just miss that a lot. So I did extend the uh, the both colors together, all spice and Model, and I kind of just mixed them together and then extended it down below around my uh, under eye area. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit with just my foundation brush. But I'm really liking how this is looking so far. It's It's, turned out to be a really nice color blended together. And I'm pretty excited about that. I am gonna go in with um, Queen, which is that lighter brown shade, the lightest brown shade before like the muted neutral one. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of that to kind of mellow it out. And I believe I use this with one of the other color schemes too, but I can't remember which one. I might not have, I might be thinking of a totally different palette. That does happen a lot um, because I have the memory of a goldfish, but. Here we are. But yeah, I'm really liking, I mean, it's still definitely a darker eye than if you were trying to do just like a nice neutral eye. But I mean, with the browns and stuff, it's not surprising that it's darker. It's just a more neutral color scheme, which I'm a big fan of. I still think this just has a ton to offer, this palette does. I mean, it's really great, especially if you're looking for something just to have in your collection to, um, to give you that pop of color, that burst of color, if it's something you don't normally do. I think just for the price point, it makes it kind of worth it to have if you're looking for a decent little accent piece. I, of course, gravitate towards bright colored palettes. I, I have so many neutrals that I established when I was like first getting into to makeup. I'm like, uh, I don't really need any more neutrals. I'm gonna go for something that's gonna make me like stand out. <laughs> I need to stand out. So I could, I, we could go two, two ways with this one. I could go in and clean up everything with some concealer and then put in a glitter shade. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is take actually just a little bit more of the queen shade, which is that light brown, and I'm gonna fill in everywhere that doesn't have color. So I make it a little bit darker. And then we're gonna go in with the loose glitter shade and I call it loose glitter. It's not loose glitter, but it's definitely more of a chunky glitter, which is probably a better way to describe it. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that sounds more right. So we're gonna go with chunky glitter instead of loose glitter. Uh, that is the wow shade. And then it's this one right here. I believe I used it with one of the other ones as well, but I'm not sure. Um, we're just gonna take our finger and just give it a little bit. I love how this looks. This has been my favorite glitter shade so far, actually. I don't know if we did use it because I really like the way this is actually picking up and applying. It's doing a great job of it. Um, now that may be partially too because we're doing it on a fully colored in eyelid. And so that's helping add the dimension that I think was lacking when we didn't have that under it. But I'm really a big fan of how this is turning out. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, so I am just to finish it off just because I promised. And uh, just to say that we did it for every single eye look, we're gonna go in with shimmering. We're gonna do a little bit under the brow bone, highlight that area. We're gonna do a little bit under this side. All right, okay. We're gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit more. And then we're gonna see how the final product looks. Okay, so this is the final product. I'm not gonna lie. I think the neon with the blue and the green was my very favorite eye look, but I think this is a close second. I feel like a disco ball. My eyes is shiny and I love glitter and I love sparkly. And I really think with these, I've now discovered having used this palette four different times in four different ways, that the best way to use the loose glitter pigments is going to be to have it with a color underneath and then just put it on as an accent on top. That might've been something that should have been common knowledge to me, but I just discovered it so here we are i hope you guys uh enjoyed the eye look again this is the patricia bright from makeup revolution palette it comes with so many really gorgeous shades you get to 28 shades 
$25 full price and I picked mine up on sale. I think I paid 15 for it. So I would definitely keep your eyes out for this one if you're looking for something to add that, uh, that pop to it. I really liked it. I was very impressed. And I think for the price point, it definitely makes it a worthwhile palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little series. I hope you guys are enjoying me doing multiple looks with the same palette. It's something my mom suggested. Um, I'm, I like to do a lot of first impressions and stuff like that. And those are great. But I think a lot of times a lot of colors get neglected and there's so many things that you can do with so many palettes. And most of the time, people are not like me who buy 8,000 palettes in a month long period. Most people invest in one or two palettes and then they use them a lot, which is the smarter way to do it. But I never said I was a smart person. So here we are. So hopefully this is helping you guys kind of figure out which palettes you like the best that you see me work with and all of that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or things that you want to see or palettes you'd like to see or brands you'd like to see or kind comments or even mean comments, I guess it'll make me cry, but I'll listen to them. Uh, definitely drop them in the uh, the comments below. I love to interact with you guys. I love to hear what you have to say. Um, it makes me so happy when I see people commenting. So uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of this video and you're still listening to me talk, thank you. If you wanna drop a special code word, I've seen some YouTubers do that and I love when they do. So uh, <laughs> broken toe, just a comment broken toe. If you, uh, if you got all the way to this point, I will greatly appreciate it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are just staying really safe and healthy right now. And um, yeah, know that I love you and I'm praying for everything to get calm and, and peaceful as quickly as possible. Um, but I'm right there with you in the stress and all that that's going on. So uh, we're definitely in this together. But other than that, I hope you guys are just uh, having a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.